Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Got kind of a gray day happening here today. Catching solar. Everything's pretty well full. And we got a little battery to take a look at today. Emphasis on little. So let's head on up to the Bungaloha and see what I'm talking about. I think you're going to like this little battery here. Got a few experiments underway at the moment, but today's the battery. All right. So here we have the Cyclin Bat 12.8 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. This is by far the smallest battery I have ever seen, and it comes in at about 20 pounds. And like most batteries that you get, it came with the M8 terminal bolts here, and these are just about uh, a half an inch, a little over half an inch, 0.67 inch, uh, which is kind of standard. And then it also threw in some longer ones, a set of longer ones, and these are 1.1 inch long. So I guess if you were going to stack up uh, a lot more devices, connections onto your battery, you can see the difference here. So uh, I don't know, I can't see any reason I would need a bolt that long. I like the little standard ones, and then if I need to really start stacking things up, I would use a bus bar, but that's just me. So that, and then of course it came with, you know, these collapsible handles here, which are make it really easy for uh, carrying around at 20 pounds. That is a small battery, and those are not pouch cells in there. And like most batteries this size, it has a total energy of 1,280 watt-hours, operating voltage 12.8 volts, and it actually has a 150 amp BMS, which is uh, larger than most 100 amp hour batteries. Most come with a 100 amp BMS, but this one's got a 150 and it says it can take quite a discharge. And by that I'm saying that it says in the parameters in the little book here that it comes with, a little product manual with a lot of the basics, that it can actually take 300 amp discharge for five seconds. That's an amazing amount of power. And besides the product manual, it also comes with a warranty card. You'd want to fill that out and send it back to them. And then it also has a very quick reference, let's get started guide. Just some real basic information in here. The product manual has a lot more information besides a lot of the uh, parameters, gives you a voltage, estimated state of charge. This did arrive at 13.1 volts, which is pretty standard the way these are shipped out. I have since charged this up fully on solar, so and it has been sitting here now uh, with a full charge for about two weeks and it's holding a good charge. And after two weeks since it got its first full charge, it's holding 13.49, so that is a full battery. And looking at the link that they provided for their battery, uh, this model it says is $336.98. And they've say that at checkout, you'll get $100 off of that. So $236. Bucks. And a little discrepancy on their uh, information here. On the web page, it says 120 amp BMS. Where in the manual, it says 150. But it says it will support 150 amp continuous discharge. It also says right there that they are grade A cells, 5,000 plus deep cycles, 100% state of charge and depth of discharge, 10 year lifespan. 
There are a lot of these minis coming onto the market, and as far as the form factor, I really like it. This is the first one I've seen that is not pouch cells, and that's kind of unique. And this does have low and high temperature protection built in, so for those of you in colder climates, uh, this won't charge up when it's not supposed to and you're freezing temperatures. Out here we don't get that, so it's not really that big of an issue out here. But it does have that in there for those of you that are interested in that. And since it does say it can discharge 300 amps for 5 seconds, uh, that's going to be a test for the future. I currently don't have anything I can pull that kind of a load off on it. Uh, I am going to try that at a friend's house in a future video. We're going to see if we can do that and then get five seconds of 300 amps. But that'll be a different video. So I am loving these mini form factors, especially just for their ease of transporting them around. Uh, super lightweight. And they're boasting the same power as what used to come in a much larger, much more empty case. And now they're filling all of that space with battery. So that's great. So I'm going to pick this up, move it to a different location, and start discharging it. Because I've got to pump some water today. So I'm going to hook up a water pump and let her run. Okay, I've got the battery hooked up. I just carried it a oh, few hundred feet down here. And that's one of the reasons I really like these lightweight batteries for moving things around. I can reach some re more remote locations on the property and have some power with just a simple inverter. And let's turn it on, which will immediately activate my water pump. I've hooked up a little watt meter to see what that pump's going to draw. It's usually about 300 and some watts, I believe. But So we'll turn it on. looks like 230 watts is what we're drawing so working good yeah I thought it was about 300 but maybe it'll go up a little bit but anyway 231 watts now coming off of that I'll set a timer on this as well and there's my water pump submerged in water and I've got about oh four or five hundred gallons I'd like to move uh, to my main catchment tank so that's what I'm going to do is empty this backup tank into my main tank and make room for some more catchment so we'll just let that run on that mini battery and here it is pumping over 100 feet away moving water perfect and that water pump has been running for 20 minutes holding a steady 229 watts and let me just see what these feel like absolutely cool to the touch as I would expect it's not a huge amount of power we're pulling but yeah doing just well yeah look at that I mean I can just about palm that thing really love that size and I do again we'll reiterate just the ease of picking some power up and moving it to where you want tie in a simple inverter this is great especially on uh, some remote living RVing, camping, whatever. You've got some pretty good power here. Okay, at one hour, I'm still pulling a steady 228 watts. Uh, it's doing real well. About what I would expect. Uh, nothing dramatic <laughs> the way we like it. So, yeah, I'm going to uh, come back and do a follow-up test on this where I can take it back down to my buddy's house and we'll ramp up some stuff and try and pull that 300 amps off of it and see what it does. But yeah, I'm liking this battery and I've moved all the water I can. So I'm going to go ahead and, and shut this off now. And there we go. Still nice and cool all the way. Nice little battery. And although this battery is not totally at rest, I am reading 13.2 off the inverter. So that's about what you'd expect when you're running these batteries. They quickly drop to 13.2 and they'll hold that for a long time during their discharge. But the accurate way would be to have a battery 
a monitor on that and that battery would need to be at rest for about three hours to get a very accurate read. But anyway, the inverter showing it at 13.2 and it did well. I moved a few hundred gallons of water that I needed to move today. And it was easy, easy, easy just to pick that up and drop it in wherever I wanted. And that few hundred gallons that I pumped in here topped me off quite nicely. It just left the last couple of inches. So thanks to Cycling Bat for sending this battery out for a review. It's a nice little battery. We're going to give it a lot of work up, working out over time. And I will show you uh, what it looks like when we put a real heavy load, 300 amps. Kind of curious about that. Just don't have anything that big out here. All right, you guys, I'm catching some sun through there, believe it or not. Pretty nice day. Hope you guys are catching sun where you're at. Unless you need rain. Then I hope you're, then I hope you're getting rain. <laughs> All right, everybody. Aloha. Yeah. Pretty nice day.